and here we are again. This time with a different game in the trilogy. One that I might know better than not at all. I think the mic is a little too far away from my face. There we go. That should be good, I think. Times like this, it's almost... I think about it, if I had access to, like, in, uh, enhanced reality technology in my house, it would be nice to be able to, like, slightly turn my view, like, slightly to the right and be able to see the chat scrolling, like, as I'm playing on my television. Unfortunately, I don't have access to enhanced reality, so... I, I mean, maybe if I had a Google Glass, but I, I, don't, I don't have that either. <laughs> I'm not made of money! Can't just break a chunk off and expect for it to re, you know, replenish itself. Hey, SB, how's it going? Doing a thing in like half an hour? Gotcha. Yeah, not blind this time. Um, I figured I, I haven't seen the reignited version of Ripto's Rage, but I've I played Ripto's Rage 100 and whatever percent to completion when I was younger. When I was like eight or nine years old, and even though I haven't seen the game in like 20 years, these sorts of games are the ones that stick with you, so I think it'll all come flooding back as we go here. So I said, you know what, I'll mark it as live, it's fine. This way people will know which game I'm on. If they go back and look at it later, they can be like, oh, he played Ripto's Rage, he, that's, so that's what the live part is. Oh. At least I hope that's how it'll go. Good luck with your thing in half an hour, whatever it might be. If you finish it up early, I'll probably still be here. Immersing myself in my rose-colored glasses for a Vigi game for my childhood. Theoretically, it's E2S Prague. Oh, okay, nice. Well, hopefully you guys make some good Prague. Sure, it'll all go well. I don't know what's waiting for you in E2S, and probably that's for the best, but uh, hopefully it all goes well. Uh, we're gonna get started in like, say, one minute. Many mechanics at once. Sounds about right. <laughs> Great. started but when we get started today we're gonna be getting started here on the title screen because we're moving on to a new title how you doing everybody welcome back to the spiral reignited trilogy the stream edition last time we beat the first game in the trilogy spiral the dragon reignited at 120 percent we did everything in the entire game and today we're gonna move on to the second game in the series, and the one that I know the best out of all of them, because I know something about it rather than nothing, which is the case for number one and number three here. We're gonna move on to Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's see where our hero went in the world of dragons following Nasty Nork's defeat. We could probably recite this intro, like, naturally, just without even hearing it, but we'll see. Is this rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. That would probably get a little annoying if I just repeated it ad lib. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I have a 
haven't been there since we kicked nasty Nort's butt. Okay, but we didn't go to Dragon Shores in the first game, did we? You up for a vacation at the beach? At least, I, I know I, ha I didn't play it that long ago, but I don't think we did. Oh, he he messed with you there, Sparks. You better catch his butt. Get through that gate with him at the same time. There you go. Okay, now how is this going to go terribly for us? Because I'm sure it will. Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Are you going to adjust you them on your clipboard, Professor? Or? Angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> <coughs> you get a breath mint, dude. Jesus. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. Let's be honest, though. Hunter would still be fidgeting even if he wasn't nervous. He's a cheetah. They're full of energy. Oh, Jesus. Landing. Hi, which way's the beach? And the sunglasses shop. I forgot mine at home. Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? Mmm, probably you not. A dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Oof, touche. Ow. Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Every party needs a pooper. You Guess you're the one today. Maybe. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! We should probably do something about that. Nice. Crush, kill it, kill it. Mm, maybe don't do that. Ooh, well. <laughs> okay, Zoe, let it go. It's fine. Okay. I want to watch, man. That's going to give you a little indigestion. I'll deal with you later. Sure you will. Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our world. Ooh, fancy yeah? floating book. I'll have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. Okay. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Okay, so find Summer Forest. Got it. How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Well, this time it wasn't even by choice, Spyro. Before it was by choice. This time, uh, you were, you didn't want to go on vacation, man, but the call to adventure called you back. Oh, boy. So here we are. Uh, are all my settings exactly the same as they were? I think they are. Well, that's still off, so that's a good sign. Um, map is off. Subtitles are on. Motion blurs off, excuse me. Good, I think we're all good. Okay, let's check out this area. Hi Spyro, welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? That is a little unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, sure, I'll stop them. Of course, the thing about it is that, you know, I am also technically a lizard, so isn't that like cannibalism or something? Or just racism against my own kind. I don't know. Get back here! There we go. I don't think the enemies in this game drop gems, if I remember right. Or is that a different game? I, hmm. I think I was correct. They drop those spirit orb things that you saw on the um, pause screen there. The ones up at the top of the center of the screen there. Uh, those are useful for certain things. We will uh, worry about what those things are in a little while, but first let's uh, let's run around and collect some treasure. Yeah, see, no no orb, but there's that little shiny that he dropped there. And that will come in handy for us in a little bit. Uh, that's actually progress, so let's not go that way just yet. Hello! Goodbye. Someone's having a bad time down there. Check on that in a minute. I can kind of hear the Glimmer remix in the background there. I'm gonna have to listen to this on, uh, like, like rewatch the stream to hear it again because the remixes that they did are phenomenal. And uh, 
I would really appreciate being able to listen to them. Oh yeah, actually, I just thought about that. We didn't get this move in the first game, but we now should have access to the hover move, which is awesome because that means that we can now uh, correct our jump ever so slightly. So that's a good thing. It means that I won't uh, flub my jumps as much anymore, hopefully. There are some jumps now, though, that are a little trickier. They require the hover in order to even do them, so. Hi, Spyro. We'll I'm see how it goes. Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. Tingly. Zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Okay, cool. So she's basically explaining the mechanic that's been there since the first game. The, the fairies are the checkpoints, and they will zap you to save your progress. Very, very good. Let's help out the gem cutters here while we're out and about. Okay. Bye bye sir. Let's see if we can run around and collect some old treasure while we're at it. Yeah, right there, sir. You're a bit too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh-huh, sure. I'll, I'll learn to climb this ladder, then I'll come back to see. Uh-huh. We're, we're gonna skip all that. Don't don't you worry, I have a trick that we can use to skip that. It's just gonna require some really good timing. Which means we might be here a while, but that's okay. We'll make it all work eventually. Let's just try to collect up as much as we can out of these gems. Ooh, a 10, just laying around here. Awesome. I think we should still have access to... Yeah, we do have access to Treasure Find with Sparks there, so that's good. It'll help ah, us collect up more you gems. Must be the dragon everyone's talking about. And this well, is why we need them. Or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. Because apparently now there's taxes the on the gems that I'm using because of this jackass. Oh, money bags. Fine. Pay 100 gems. Open that dragon, damn bridge for that me. Spyro, was it? That's you me. Now use the bridge whenever you want. Free of charge. Great. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Don't worry, this guy gets his comeuppance eventually, but uh, until that point, we're gonna have to pay for a lot of what we want. It's unfortunate, but you know. Press the action button. Try using hey, Conker, action it's going good. How's it going for you? Just flailing around in Ripto's rage and reliving my childhood. It's awesome. Almost getting smacked by people with hammers, absolutely. Can't get up there just yet, my jump isn't high enough. So I just gotta remember that we need a total of 300 gems in our gem stock there at the end of the level in order to uh, properly beat the level. I mean, we could beat the level right now if I talk to this gentleman, but... Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Ooh, a talisman? Didn't get one of those in the first game. Nice. Fancy. Next to me will that gate was even fancier. Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Oh, okay, cool. So the area that we're in is, well, this is Glimmer. This stage is Glimmer, but the entire region is Avalar. And uh, there are hub worlds, just like how there were hub worlds in the Dragon World, or in the Dragon Realms. And we're gonna go to one of them in a minute, but first, I'm gonna go out here and collect up more treasure. Come here, you. There we go. Make short work of these guys. Now you'll notice, as I said before, that every enemy drops a little spirit orb there. There's a certain number of enemies in the level, and once you defeat enough of them, uh, you will gain access to a special prize that you will see in just a moment. We actually already saw it. It's this gate here. Uh, there are gates like this in most of the levels, and they usually have something fairly fancy Great. for you. The superfly power up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. And in this case, it's the new uh, upgrade that you can get in this game, the super glide, which will allow us to fly temporarily. So yeah, we just have to light the gem lamps with our flames and light them quickly enough that uh, we can light up the big lamp up there. So let's give it a shot. Shouldn't be too hard. It's one of the first challenges in the game, so watch me flub it anyway, but you know. That's just par for the course around here. I'm used to it. 
There we go. Well, your lamp is all lit again. I'm hoping you light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Ooh, an orb. Okay, I'll take that too. Didn't get one of these in the first game either. Yeah, the orbs and the talismans are actually the currency that you really want to care about in this game. I mean, the gems are important too, but not as important as the orbs and the talismans, so... Gems will help you pay for orbs and talismans in certain cases, uh, in indirectly or directly. There are certain cases where you literally will pay and they'll be like, hey, here's an orb. But you think about it this way, it's indirect because you can make progress in the level by paying gems to money bags or you know, somebody else so that you can progress in the level and then collect up the rest of the gems and the talisman and the orbs. So it all, you know, sort of comes together eventually. Uh, where do we want to go now? Because there's a few things we can still get. The gems are sort of like the dragons from the first game um, in that there are little challenges. They're not the checkpoints anymore. Instead of that, there's little challenges that you can do throughout the levels in order to um, collect up the gems. So that's what we're going to go do. Let me just grab this real quick. I didn't need to use that to get up here, but, well, it's easier than, you know, not having it. Go over here and grab this stuff. Might as well grab it while we're here. Yeah, frickin' money bags. I know, Conker. He's he's the one. He's the one everybody remembers in this game because he's he's uh he's definitely a character. That's for sure. Doing all right. Well, that's good. Hey, Kira, it's going good. How's it going for you? Reliving my childhood nostalgia right now in Ripto's Rage. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think we've collected most of the gems in this area. It's just that one up there that we'll need to collect in a moment. But first... These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Those little jerks eat gems? All right, well, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's literally give it a shot. We'll take this rock and blast them with it. If I can aim right, there we go. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Okay. Can do. But first, let's see if we can get up here without the super glide. Uh, sort of. I think I went a little early there. You can come in here with the super glide and just get it, but I'd like to try to do it without it, which I did, so that's good. A little bit of a waste of a power up, you know what I mean, if you just do it that way. Okay. Let's follow him to the next lizard. We'll be following him basically back to the start of the level, so... You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Okay. I'll take that rock, thank you. You don't have to uh, use look mode to shoot these guys. You could just look straight at them outside of look mode to shoot them, but... I prefer to be more accurate with my shots, if I can. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. He is a greedy SOB. That is true, Conker. Very true. You can pick up a rock in your mouth. Oh, no, I know. I know. I'm trying to use look mode there, sir. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Let's follow him to the next one. I think this one should be inside of the cave, if I remember correctly. And maybe, you know, thinking about it, before we follow him in there, there is a way to use the super glide to quickly get into the cave and up where that climb path was that that gentleman was talking about. So let's see if we can go get that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go up here because I don't think we've been in this little section. Okay. No gems there. Any other little sections I could glide through? I don't think so. I think that was it. All right, so now... We gotta go this way quickly, and we have to do it very quickly, because I think when you go into the cave, like, once you're a certain distance away from the thing, it starts draining faster, like it is right now. So we gotta be quick about it. And I was not quick enough about it. But yeah, there is a way to do that where you can get up there. At least there was when the game first came out. I don't know if they patched that out. It'd be kind of weird if they did, because you could do that in the original. But since we're here, let's get a rock. Cole is here watching. 
Oh, this is gonna be a fun experience for me. Why wow, you barely watched this game when you were? Not what I was talking about. If you're wondering what I've been busy doing all day, I was busy writing, critiquing my own intelligent response, intelligent discussion post from Reddit. I'm just gonna wait. This right. is either gonna end horribly, how, how amazingly, you, or terribly. How do you have an intelligence discuss, intelligent discussion post on Reddit? You fucking format it so it actually doesn't sound like you're a 12 year old raging and bitching and then ignore all the trolls? Yeah, but what if people are not intelligent who read it? <laughs> well, then you ignore them. I mean, I guess. It's like the first rule of Reddit. Ignore the trolls. Yeah. Well, it's I mean, to be fair, sometimes the entire comment section is the trolls. I'm gonna get trolls, these up here while we can... What can you do? Go here. Let's just get that. I don't know if we can get that now. I don't know if I have enough uh, charge to get that. We'll give it a shot a couple of times, and I'll see how, how close we get. It is a possibility that they patched it out, though, because uh, a lot of the playthroughs on YouTube sh that show you being able to do that are from when the game was uh, in its original 1.0 variation. Maybe that's not what they wanted you to do, though. It probably isn't, but... Uh, Considering how faithful they were to the original in a lot of cases in this game, I would be surprised if they patched something like this out. But we'll try it a couple of times and we'll see what happens. I gotta kinda cut it close here. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's any way I could make it from there. Okay. Well, then we'll come back when we have the climb power up. It's not that far away, it's just, you know, an entire hub world away, but, you know, it's okay. I just can't get all the orbs in the first level if I do it that way. They have that sort of thing in this game in particular where uh, you uh, you can't collect 100% of everything um, the first time you run through a level because well it doesn't it doesn't allow you to do it. I mean, of course, it's one of those collectathon games from way back when. Of course, you're not going to get anything for the first time through. They got to give you a reason to play the game longer. I guess, but I'm I'm the kind of person who doesn't like uh, backtracking. Where is this lizard? I forgot. Gotcha. Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Oh, okay. So fairy must have gotten it. Awesome. That's gem number two, or orb number two. I'll probably interchange and mix those up each time. You know what I mean, though. How are we doing on? Gems anyway, we got 374. I think that's it, because I think there's a bunch of them up the ledge there. I can look, we'll just see what Sparks says. Up there, huh? Let's see. Yeah, he says this way, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we'll wait on collecting the rest then. That's fine. I don't mind going in the actual order the developers wanted me to do, so. He's a greedy SOB. Yes, he is, Conker. Yes, he is. Moneybags is always a greedy SOB. Mm -hmm. It's just in his blood. For those of you who are, uh, might be wondering what exactly I decided to post the toxic cesspool of the internet known as Reddit about, mm. you see, I follow this manga, and recently one of the most recent arcs end, ended, and I found myself quite concerned for the fact that it seems like it's going to get ridiculously dark soon, and I can't stomach that kind of content, so I decided to post on Reddit for a discussion thread to see if anybody else would actually enjoy having that it stay dark, it stay at its current tone, or even perhaps even get darker. That doesn't mean they have the correct opinion, but I'm not going to try and force my opinion on anybody on the internet that's like trying to move a wall. Yeah, you know, it's a, more like a cement block. Cement brick. Get fucked, money bags. Well, I mean, if Ripto did one thing right, it's throw money bags out of a window every time he, you know, oh, does this stuff. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Hello. Hi, I'm Spyro. Also, what this are you? Some pre kind of goat? <laughs> I'm a fawn, you dork. My eyes are up here. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? I did. Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. I know. What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. Oh, okay. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Nice. That's convenient. Hunter, How did you end up behind me? Oh, I uh, got a little lost. You don't say. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am. He is. 
Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Okay, but what about back to the Dragon Realms? Over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. Hmm. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? That is a good question. You can't even keep track of your running shoes. And there's a good answer. With 14 talismans. Hmm. If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. It may take a few days there, Spyro, but I, I like your enthusiasm. I can appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Doing pretty good. Pride was amazing. Really energized you. It was overwhelming in the best possible way. That's good. That's very good. I'm glad you went. I, I knew it would be good. I, I'm glad. So I'm glad you went to it. So that's very good, Kara. Good to hear. Of course, this year I missed it. Well, it, it was in England, so. No, I meant like <laughs> here. You do know oh. there was a parade around here, right? I didn't know it was around here. Yeah, well, it was. It was a couple months ago, right around when I started working. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, okay, so we have the talisman. It's in the, the thing there. I think once we get all the orbs there, it'll also show an orb in the gate. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think I recall. Right. So back to what I was saying before. Uh, Make sure you speak up so they can hear you in the mic. Your mic's, like, ridiculous. They can probably hear me just fine. So. I'm aware. I'm just saying. Anyway, so about the thing I was posting on Reddit. See, the thing is, I didn't want to post it until I, like, spell-checked and, like, formatted it. Because I'm one of those weirdos who went to college and actually still uses the college formatting for everything because I like sounding smart. The whole goal of this is just be like, hey, this, this shits might get really dark. Do all of you enjoy this tone shift? Do all of you want it to have be really dark and shit? Or do you want to keep the current tone, which is generally comedic and kind of funny because that's the reason why I read it. But recently, my love of anime has been reignited somehow. Hmm. I guess taking a several year long break and playing Final Fantasy XIV kind of woke me up and all that. Also, because of the recent show I'm watching, I want to play Samurai now. Well. <laughs> Des Fay. Oh, hey, we can get back up there just using that convenient frog. little thing. Yeah, the frogs are for the for sparks in case he needs health. But he doesn't need health right now, so we're good. Convenient. Was in Wales. Don't live in. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say England and just think it's the entire island. That's not true. <laughs> it's, it was in Wales. <laughs> hoping to try and set up LGBTQ plus in your area. Just hoping you can get some support there. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Just you know, it's a proactive thing, but I think you'll be able to get it. Press the jump button. Then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Okay. So Hunter's gonna give us a few little tutorials on how to platform. I'm not actually sure here. if when people respond to posts on Reddit, it sends you updates via your email, but I'm just going to wait like 20 minutes to check it. It and then should check send it at least to your Reddit inbox. Well, of you to assume I have the Reddit app on my phone. Ah. Dragonfly following you, you around is your health indicator, you like Spyro. The nope. He is, I don't post the there unless I'm just for And yeah, it's the normal stuff, what you'd expect. Even though this is on a trilogy, they're still gonna give you like tutorial stuff, like here's how to glide, here's how to hover, here's how to do all this, that sort of thing. Here's so. how to spit death from your mouth. I mean, yes. Ooh, 25 gem in that one. Fancy. Where does the water go here? Like I, not for nothing, but you'd think that this water would like. You also need to remember roll this downhill. Is an old ass game. You probably just like retrace yeah, but, the entire ass old game. Maybe, but maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's an aesthetic thing, and I just, I'm, I'm not seeing the aesthetic. Anyway, there's a couple levels we can go to here, Idle Springs and Colossus. We'll be going to both of them in a moment. First, let's continue doing Hunter's little tutorials. And as you can see, that's a nice quality of life change there. He's got a gem above his head, which means if we do his tutorials, we'll get a gem, so, or an orb. Sorry, like I said, I'm going to interchange those by accident, so. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. What is your computer doing over there, Cole? It's starting, I'll tell you. Oh, okay, that explains why it sounds like it's dying. It always sounds okay, like Okay, not bad. Though. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Ogie. Oh, I saw some gems that I didn't get down there. I'll go get them. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. 
Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Which is very helpful for some jumps like this one. Holy shit, somebody responded to my post already and it doesn't look like a troll. Why would you read it now? Why don't you wait to read it until very like there's good. a multitude? Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to... And I got two upvotes already, what the fuck? Press forward on hmm. the left stick when you hover. Okay, so here we go. Nice. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. Why does a cheetah now, need running shoes anyway? Collection. I guess so he doesn't get splinters in his feet. There's an orb for us. That's orb number three. I think there's 64 orbs in total, if I recall correctly. And, of course, we'll be getting all of them, because I want to do this game 100 and whatever percent, just like uh, the original. This game's a little longer, I think, than the original, though. There's only three hub worlds, but they're packed with stuff to do, so we'll have to see that in a little so, while. Spyro, I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. <laughs> see what I mean about money bags? He's just a jerk. Okay, we need 500 gems in order to learn to swim underwater. That being said, we can swim over water now, so we won't get hurt when we fall in water anymore, which is, you know, pretty nice. And actually thinking about that, I'm going to go over here real quick and see if there's any gems I can collect in this pond over by Glimmer. So, there might be something over here, you never know. I know there's something over here if you uh, come back here once you can swim underwater, but we can't do that just yet. We'll have to go to one of the two levels first before we can do that. One way to find out, can try, try to start driving lessons again, too, I think. That's good, Kira, good. Keep keep at all that stuff. You keep yourself busy like that, you'll be in good shape. And it's fulfilling work, too, that you'll be doing, because, yep, there are some gems down there. You can see them from here. We can't collect them right now, but yep, we'll be able to get them later. But yeah, it's good fulfilling work, what you're going to be doing, so I think it'll definitely, uh, you know... It'll keep your mood up, it'll keep you feeling energized, so just keep that train rolling, you know? Oh. What, what did Cole post? He posted a post on Reddit about one of the animes that he likes and how Manga. it's shifting, Manga. mangas, excuse me, shifting into a darker tone. And Although he's in not hindsight, sure if he likes I'm it. talking to this person on Reddit via, dis via replies and discussions, that one arc he did previously was pretty dark, and he did say he struggled with it in the past because of how dark it was. We're going to Idle Springs, by the way. To answer the question of the people in the audience of what I posted about what the manga is, it's uh, My Hero Academia. Mm. Yes, I'm shown in trash. Deal with it. I don't know anything about it, so... I know. <laughs> I know. It's your stream, but at the same time, I guess there are like half your streams unintentionally. This is true. What are you going to do when I move out of this house? Besides crying. You with you? Besides yeah. crying. Sneak into your suitcase. Mm. Hey, Mom, why do I have this third suitcase? Oh, I needed to pack all of your other stuff. And then you get to your apartment like, damn, home sweet home. And I pop out like, I thought you could get rid of me, bitch. <sighs> I hate to break it to you, man. That thing ain't gonna come to life. I need to go see my and if it did, it would be dying. some dark magic. So, But anyway, here we are on the first level that we're gonna take on besides Glimmer. Idle Springs. Let's see what the problem is here. The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Oh, great. So yeah, there will always be a problem that you have to solve in each level that you go to, and then the solution will usually allow you to get a talisman from the inhabitants. Then there's orbs, which are different uh, collectibles that you can get from challenges and stuff. So, always something to do. Before we go help that gentleman, I let's go this the way. Appears to still be screaming. Yeah, I was gonna say, it sounds like it's having a hemorrhage over there. Well, that's old. But thankfully, these guys are still made of wood, even though they're, you know, brandishing fire around. Probably not the smartest idea. I don't think that's how keys work, sir, but okay. That's fine. Do you have anything to say? No. Okay. Playing Breath of the Wild at the moment, mainly been listening to the stream for the past while. Ah, that's okay, Conquer. Hopefully, that all goes well for you as well. I gotta play Breath of the Wild one of these days. I ain't played a damn Zelda game since Link's Awakening slash A Link to the Past, but Breath of the Wild always looked really good. I'll have to 
try it one of these days. There we go. I helped you out, sir. Go ahead and unlock that door for me. Well, unlock is a strong word. How does he break that metal lock with his wooden uh, hammer anyway? It's a strong hammer you got there. Dummy thick. The only thing, I was a little bit concerned earlier while I was on Final Fantasy XIV. My game was chugging a lot more than usual. Mm -hmm. I told you why I can't run it outside of full screen. Yeah, and, and I think you need to just fix your HUD, attack. but, you know. Dude, <laughs> if I fix my HUD, I'm not going to be able to see the character that I've spent attack. fucking months trying to look good. You will still be able to see them. Well, then why don't you help me fix my HUD after you're done streaming? Oh, that's going to take a while, but all right. <laughs> I'd, run, I'd give up my machinist roulette tonight if so if the game can run at higher than 20 frames per second. Mm. You're welcome, Kira, no problem. Like the art style of the game and how expressive the characters are. I think you saw a video about it, actually. Found it. It's only one part of a longer video, but highly recommend the channel for really interesting content and animation in games. You can always stick it in um, the uh, the videos and music section in the Discord server there, SB, as well, so we can check it out afterwards. I might have even seen it, honestly, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, but yeah, feel free to leave it over there so we can all check it out. Okay, my computer is no longer screaming like a mother. Very good. Boom. It's too bad I couldn't cook a combo that guy. Combo into that guy. Would have been nice, but you know. But you do want to defeat all the enemies you come across, because you never know when you're going to come across a gate that can be powered up by defeating enemies. So, Can you do me a favor? Can you pull the blinds down on that window and pull the blinds up on the window over by your computer? Because I'm getting some glare on my screen. Okay, that's better. Now pull that one up so I don't feel like I'm in complete darkness. I'm afraid of the dark now. No, I know I'm not. Yeah, this is true. I looked down the steps and I see Jason Voorhees looking up at me. It's that kind of dark. Ah! Michael Myers just like, oh, I'm waiting for you. Halloween thing intensifies in my life. All right, let's keep going with this. Do any of these guys? Okay, well, Zoe has something to tell me. I got it, Zoe. I know how to move the camera. The they would have just been like, hey, we only need to have one tutorial. They they went real faithful, though, with this. This is like, it, it's a lot of the dialogue is like one-to-one -one how it was in the original. Are you so. sure it's not just like how you see it because you have rose colored glasses on it? I mean, yes, I know. But like I said, I could literally recite the um, intro to... Uh, Ripto's Rage pretty much by heart, and it was exactly how it was. The only difference was that uh, Hunter made, uh, like, actual <laughs> noises with his mouth instead of just spitting. See, the funny, so. the funny thing about that is I can't actually do that with a lot of games, but one of the games particularly where I can't, like, recite the opening, but I can remember it perfectly is Metal Gear Rising. Mm. I have played that opening tough. session if section more than job, I can, like, to got a place for you here. Because, you know, chopping a Metal Gear Ray in half is very good for stress relief. It's a good tutorial. I really like it. We have the Talisman of Idle Springs. Awesome. We're not quite done here yet, but we've got that at least. I mean, as you can see, we've barely found um, not even half the gems yet and no orbs, so... Follow New Frame Plus or Play Frame. It is New Frame Plus. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Someone else follows him. Play Frame is his gameplay channel. Dan Floyd does solo LPs and LPs and quick looks with his wife and with Dan Jones. They're super wholesome and adorable, and you love them all. <laughs> i have to check it out. The name, um, Dan Floyd sounds familiar. It sounds familiar, too. I don't remember why it sounds familiar, but it does sound familiar to me. I wonder what those are all about down there. We played this game enough. You know fucking full well what they're doing. You know I'm just saying that to say it until we actually figure out what they're for. It's like a staple of the monochromium channel. Fair. No forward here. Yeah. Smash again. Hey, yeah, your switch just... has been sitting in the thing collecting dust for a while. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing either, man. I just have so much shit that I want to do. It's weird. Like, I want to keep playing Monster Hunter World and keep getting ready for Iceborne. I want to keep playing Final Fantasy XIV because I'm actually having fun with Machinist and all the other classes with the Shadowbringers changes. I've got so much shit to do, it's weird. I only have like two fucking days off a week, though. Mm. 
So I spend my entire day being like, oh, hey, let's get on 14 and fix up my fashion and do this and fix my HUD and then get on Monster Hunter World and do this, that, and this, that, and the other thing before I know it. Fuck, I have to go to work the next day. Gotta budget your time wisely. I fucking hate budgeting time. <laughs> Let me have all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. If only we all had that, none of us would have to worry about anything, but that's, that's, you know, not usually a thing. Anyway, we've beaten enough enemies, so now we can use the supercharge power-up. That's what the lightning bolt there is. So we'll check that out in a moment. I'm just making sure I've collected all the gems. Getting up here, I have. Okay, cool. I don't think we can beat the gentleman in the center with the umbrella just yet, because I think he used the umbrella to, like, block my flames somehow. I don't know, man. Anyway. Whoops. Missed one, missed two. We'll come back around. There we go. And now they're, they're, that all these ladies are down from there, they can go right there and... Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Mm -hmm. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Cool. You sure you don't need it so you can go places? I'm not complaining, though. I need all 64 of them, so I'll take it gladly. So that's orb number four. Tried to, almost was going to correct myself there and say gem, but no, that's definitely an orb. Hell, they all look like gems to me. Oh, that's why. Okay, gotcha, because Dan Floyd was uh, one of the guys that was part of Extra Credits. Okay, I see. That's where it, where it seems familiar from. Cool. Check it out, then. You like his stuff, though. You're grumpy about some of his jokes in the Pokemon video. Annoys you when people make the animal cruelty jokes about Pokemon, because one, it's overdone. Two, it's not actually true if you played the game. And three, people legit believe it is a fact when it's actually how things are in Pokemon. Yeah, well... People will believe a lot of that stuff just to, you know, be like, well, this game needs to burn in hell because you're a cruel to ant. No. No, that's not even remotely true. Like, come on now. See, here's the thing. Sometimes people just believe in that kind of stuff, not because they actually, like, want support and believe in because they know it pisses people off. Specifically, mm -hmm. the fans piss pisses off the fans. Because some people just kind of like, oh, I want to live my entire life pissing everyone off with my own opinions. So what opinions can I gain myself to just piss people off? Okay. Not wrong. Yeah, it's true. I love the hover, man. It's one of my favorite additions in this game, if not my favorite. I legitimately, like, thought of a joke there, but I decided not to say it because I don't know if I could have cut myself off fast enough. About? About people having some beliefs that piss it. Just to piss people off, and it would have been a Final Fantasy XIV joke, but I opted not to say it. Oh boy. Rocket! What do you think this is? Sonic Colors? I think it busted open the thing down there, but I think a lot of the gems ended up in the water. Let's go find out. I can't get up there, so we're just gonna fly around that. Ah, got a few of them anyway. But yeah, a few of the gems ended up underwater, and since we don't have the ability to swim underwater just yet, uh, we... Because money bags is hollow. Yeah, we, we, need to, we need to go back up here and head out through the level. <sighs> so, let's go to the end of the level. We'll leave. We'll pay money bags a fee to learn to slim, swim underwater, and then we'll come back. Oh yeah, by the way, Jimmy, I looked at, uh, I'm starting to have, like, thoughts in the back of my mind where I'm thinking to myself... Did you look up more Shadowbringer spoilers? No. I was, I was gonna say, myself, dude! <laughs> I only looked up one! Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> the fuck off. <laughs> Why the hell would I spoil myself entirely? That's just dumb. And besides, even if I did spoil myself entirely, bold of you to assume I'm going to remember any of it! I mean, yeah. That's fair. I'm surprised dude, you don't do it more. Dude, you break metal locks with that. You shouldn't... I'm out of anyway, here. I'm so, out of here. Anyway, so... So I was looking at, like, Machinist Glamour, and I'm extremely sad because I worked really hard on my bar Glamour, and I don't know if it's going to work on Machinist. You should... Maybe I should recount that story next time we start streaming it of my tail is going into the fucking... <laughs> oh my god. What, did you think I was gonna kill you? I just want a barbecue, man. <laughs> I love the opening and ending cutscenes in these levels. They just... 
it's it's not that there's anything wrong with the levels that were in the first game. It's just that the openings and endings here really give you an idea of what the characters' lives look like when Spyro isn't there. You know what I mean? Makes the levels feel like they're a living, breathing thing, more than just a stage for you to go to to collect treasure. So. SB says the Anemos jacket is real good. Oh, I know. Time see, for Prague. All right, SB, take it easy. Hopefully you do well is, in E2S. Indeed. See, my thing is, like, I've worked really hard to get that Euphemi set along with a lot of the Gambler gear. You can ask Jimmy. I was on every day doing at least four to five runs a day. Yeah, he did a lot. And just the thought of that not working for Machinist after I had to drop Bard because Bard's kind of, like, makes me want to scream. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? Sure. I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. I got a question hey, for you, jumps. though, Moneybags. If you know how to swim underwater, why haven't you swam back into the castle and kicked Ripto's ass for kicking you out? Because why the hell would he do that? I mean, I guess. It would get his suit all ruffled. It would get Wait. his suit all ruffled, okay. but why the hell would he do when that? When he can just charge water, you all the money to save Ripto and make a quick buck of the surface. To beat Ripto and use then the fucking make a quick buck off of it. Capitalism! When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge uh, button to charge. Well, at least they didn't turn money bags into a real-time money transaction. Because they could have done that. This game is technically published by Activision, so they could be like, Nope, well, if you really want to get through, Spyro, I could just have you pay me real-world money so that I can get the gems for you. I can send someone out to do that for you. And it's like, Activision, why? But they this didn't is do that. Fucking so, thank Crash Team Racing? <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed about that because I loved Crash Team Racing as a kid. Mm. <laughs> oh, my childhood! What? Yeah, well. At least this game didn't get fucked. We've talked about the microtransaction in Crash Team, Crash Team Racing before. It's not something that any of us like at all, so. Let's see. I think I can. Okay, well, we gotta do that, first of all. Swimming in this game looks like a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, it's not as bad as it. Maybe it is as bad as it oh seems God. like. But you, you <laughs> oh go God. fast with square and you go slow with X. So you can just do this, and then it's just basically the swimming speed of uh, Mario 64, which is not bad. Of course, there's no rhythmic timing to it like Mario 64, but that's okay. We just have money bags as a super boss where he pulls a King DDD and just gets really buff and you have to beat the shit out of him and he gives you like 10,000 gems when you beat him. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't need that Rule 34 fan art. Fuck that fan art, man. You just want to kick money bags ass. I mean, that's true, but... Anyway, we got orb number five up here for finishing that hey, little drum. course. Let's grab these. Um, I think we should just go back to Idle Springs, honestly, so we can finish that section up. Oh yeah, I can look in the water. Nice. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do in Idle Springs to finish it up. I think all the gems and the last orb are both down inside there, so we're gonna go back and see if I can do that, so. Yes, world building absolutely helps, it's great. Define small money bags, yeah. <laughs> it's always a small fee with him, but, you know. Could have made it 50 times more grindy, but allowed to save time by offering a microtransaction for the gems you need, yes. But they did not do that, and if they ever do that, I will be very upset. I, I will. Was different I will take back my uh, statement of. I'm just skipping that because we've already seen it. I will take back my statement of this is the definitive version to play, and I'll be like, no, fuck this version. If they ever did that, I'm just gonna. It would just be the effective equivalent of shoving your foot in your mouth. Or in the case of my D and D session, shoving your entire leg in your mouth. That's no good. That could that could cause some heartburn. You ever you ever have mess up a charisma check so badly that the town. But the military guy that was supposed to be our ally literally says, you're just shoving your foot in your mouth. And then the party corrects him and says, no, he's shoving his leg in his mouth. Wah, wah. And meanwhile, if you look in the background, my, my boy Gorg is playing golf with a skull. Cole has a Russian character that he plays in D&D &D named Gorg. I, he uses a golf club for everything. He invented golf. <laughs> okay, well there, there you canon. go. There you go. In canon, in his in the D and D campaign that him and his friends are doing, this gentleman invented golf. He has an he has an intelligence and a wisdom of eight. <laughs> it's beautiful. Out of ten, right? Uh, out of twenty. Oh, okay. If you drop below ten, that means you're deficient in that skill. <laughs> in this campaign, That's he has terrible. An 
That's terrible. In this new campaign, though, he doesn't have an infant tent, but his wisdom is still fucking. Oh, okay, so we have to solve these puzzles. The okay. Puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Okay. Turn all of the blocks yellow. Got it. Ask him for extra help. Oh, this is one of those puzzles, isn't it? So, like, if you do this, it turns these off. Okay, oh, I see. Oh, fuck these puzzles with a vice. I see. No, this one's easy. See? Not that hard. I still hate those puzzles. <laughs> I think there's a harder one after this, though. Meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Okay. So we gotta go to the pond. So we'll just swim right back out. Let's see if I can meander my way around. I think he's right up here. If you charge, by the way, while you're swimming and you uh, surface above the water there, you can actually charge your way um, out of the water. It gives you a little hang time. So it's a neat, neat little trick. Until he swallowed ten fish. Oh, really? He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay. Which ones doesn't he like? The idol is very picky. I think it's red fish that he doesn't like. Yeah. Whoops. I missed? How did I miss? What is the script? No, that's I'm not supposed to lose. Exactly. He lost because he missed. I guess so. Fonch. Fonch. No, he's eating a raw. It's like sushi. Yeah. He's also Avoid he's that one. Fish. I think if you put the red one in there, he loses like three fish or something. He like burps them up. So don't don't want to do that. It's too spicy for him. It's just like the red fish comes up again. What the fuck? Here comes the big one. Steady boy. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay. Okay. So I think you guys can handle the yeah. chicken fingers and the side or whatever. Okay. Yep. Sounds Got good. Oh. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Yep, later on. So here's the trouble, though, with backtracking in this game. It's that you have to go back through the level all over again and defeat all the enemies. Now, you don't have to defeat all of them, but in a lot of cases, the enemies... Um, are, are gate gating off certain parts of the level like in this case they have the guys that can unlock the doors for me taken hostage so I have to defeat them it would be nice if they stayed dead that's all I'm saying <laughs> but uh, as it stands now we'll just we'll make it work make it work We'll just speed our way right through. Leave the beetle alone, because the beetle didn't do nothing to deserve anything else. But yeah, it's like we don't need the super glides, so do I need to defeat these guys? No, not really, but I guess we'll do it again since we have to. But that's partially what makes this game slightly longer than uh, the first game, is that when you go back through the levels, you gotta defeat the enemies again, so. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Okay. Jump on the stones in the correct order. So what's the first one there, mister? If you jump on these stones in the correct order... Oh, he did the, the first one for me. The star. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Maybe square? Okay. Um, let's see here. Hang on. I'm just trying to figure this out. What are triangles? What this is. Okay, and then this one. And this one. Cool. How did I do that? Um, on the first try, I... I kind of looked at all of the things that were there, and I was like, okay, let me try getting this one that's, um, the same as the one that was in the center. So it was two stars, so okay, there we go. Then there's two moons, and then two that are completely different from each other. So I said, well, one of the two that's different from each other has to be in between the two moons. So that's that was my thought process there, in case you were wondering. I, I didn't know that one by heart, but uh, it turned out I, I figured it out anyway. So, And there we go, we got gem or orb number two. We're missing gems, though, aren't we? We're missing 18 gems somewhere around here. You know, I know. I think I know where they are actually. I think they're um, 
You might have to rocket that thing again. So the, uh, the thing up here, uh, maybe? Let's see. Might have to rocket it again. We'll see in a moment. Uh, no, I guess not. Okay. Sparks, point me in a direction. Okay. Sparks, point me in a direction. <laughs> Can only use Sparks' treasure finder on the ground, though, so... Maybe they're in here? Yeah. Oh, I know where they are. Secret behind the waterfall? Uh, secret above the waterfall, actually. Yeah, I missed that the last time. I should I was thinking about going and checking by the waterfall when we were uh, up on the platforms there, but I, I did not. And now you know why I should have, because if I did, I would be able to have gotten all the treasure by now, probably. So let's go try again. Sparrow, you're pretty tough. Yeah, you gave me the talisman already, but thank you. I'll take it again. All right, you have fun with your rose-colored glasses. I'm going to go upstairs. Okay, bye, Cole. After I turn my computer off, it's finally done with stuff. No, nope, it's not even done updating yet. Okay, let's right. see how it is, computer. <laughs> Okay, well, we got a few of them. Oh, okay, there's more over here. I was going to say, wait, where's the rest of them? Probably over here. There we go. Now we're good. Idle Springs complete. That's one. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Sparks with an X, actually. It's um, he's He's got that, that fancy 90s X in his name there, so... Yep. Love his air bubble underwater. Yeah, it's nice. It lets him kind of not, not have to worry about just flying underwater with Spyro. He's like, nope, I'm in a bubble. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So Idle Springs is complete. Now, did the... Uh... No, it didn't show up. So just the, the talisman shows up instead of the orbs. Got it. That's fine. There is an orb in Summer Forest that we cannot collect at first because it requires the climb technique that we will not have uh, until a little later as well. Now, we could go underwater in order to get into the castle, but I think before we do that, we should head to Colossus and see what we can find in this level. I think if I remember right, this is the level with the storm machine? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I wasn't sure which would vaguely remember the sparks from something. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it, it could have been from this. He's, he's pretty uh, prolific. Spyro and Sparks are both pretty prolific. They uh, they get around in a few games. Especially if you've played any of the Crash Bandicoot games, there's probably references back to them. That's a big Yeti. Bring up the sacrifice! I like their chanting better in the original. I don't think this is going to end well for the goat. Or for the dude. Well, that's not good. As you can see, their humor started getting a little bit more... Uh, uh, teenage, I guess, as the series went on. Like, the original was kind of just like, yeah, you know, there's a couple of little lewd references. But here, nope, second, third level in the game, some dude gets eaten. Holy shit. <laughs> We've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. So it's not the Storm Machine one. It's, uh, that, that's a different level. We'll get to one where there is a Storm Machine. Uh, maybe that's Hurricos, I think? Ah, oh, God, it's been a long time. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not recalling. Get off my cloud. Anyway. So we'll just make our way through Colossus and see what we can do about this Yeti that they've uh, been troubled with. But yeah, as you can see, our gem total there is now uh, a shared total. Like, it's a total that you have across all worlds. And honestly, I don't like that as much because it's like... It makes me have to go into the menu to check how many of the gems I've got in the level itself. You know what I mean? It's it, it feels like that's not as good as the first game was. Like I understand why they do it. It's because they want to make it so that you can pay for stuff in the levels like they did in Glimmer with money bags. But eh, I, I prefer being able to see it all directly on the screen there. You know what I mean? Rather than having to pause the game to do it. Gotta keep the game moving, you know? 
So concentrate, sir. Yeah, not as much of a fan of their chanting as in the first game. There was this very rhythmic chanting they would do in the first game. It was like, It was very, uh... It, it, honestly, it was probably a little obnoxious looking back at it, but it was iconic, you know what I mean? It wasn't... it Like, in comparison to what they just did there, it made it sound like they're not trying very hard in this one. <laughs> it's fine, I don't care, it's just... Uh, it's the same thing as I felt with the Sparks uh, sound effect when he eats a butterfly. It's just not the same. Again, it's it's not going to be a detriment to my enjoyment of the game. The game's just fine. It's just, you know. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Nice. Thank you. Is this the one with the hockey part? Yes. Yes, it is the one with the hockey part. You're thinking of the correct level there, Conker. So... Wasn't sure which, but vaguely remember. Oh, that's right. Sadly, now growing up games were a luxury, so you generally only played demos for the most part. The original method was better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate, though. The games were mostly a demo growing up for you. Or mostly a luxury growing up for you. You could only play demos. So, yeah, same as before. You can headbutt the goats, but uh, they're because they're the small enemies, quote unquote, this level. Oh, excuse me. But uh, the yaks, not so much. If you charge into those, you're asking for trouble, so. So instead of charging them, we'll just blast them with some heat. Okay, and we actually get to take a look at what the gates look like uh, that have the super power-ups in them before they're lit up. So in this case, you can see an 11 in the gate. That means we need to defeat 11 enemies in order to open it up. We've defeated 7, so it will not Each light up just yet. An enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Alright, fair enough. So that's what we'll do in just a moment. We just need to defeat four more enemies and that will power itself up. Now, if I remember right, that one is another new um, super power-up that you get. It's like a super spring or something, and basically it gives you a shortcut up to that ledge up there. So, naturally, it will not open up until we've uh, already been up there, basically. It, it's there to offer you a shortcut in case you fall down, so... Hey, look what I can do. What can you do? Oh, nice. We'll use that in a moment once I grab some other stuff. I wonder if there's anything inside of these idols. I don't think we can hit those just yet, though. I don't think we have the correct uh, anything, really, to, to take care of that. But there is an extra life back here. Nice. I'll take that. Never have enough of those. I usually like capping off my jumps with hovers in this game. It just, I don't, it feels more natural. Like you're, you're, you know, making absolutely sure you're gonna land just where you want if you Remember do that. Remember Hunter's so. advice: you will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Yep, can do. That will. Uh, so there's the area that we were just down there. So that will get us the airtime we need if I do that and end up right here. Let us progress. Let's not charge through those, though, because that would not lead to very good things. Oops. Excuse me, pardon me. Come on, then. There you go. I'll take you on, Mr. Goat. Oops. Oh, I didn't need to kill that penguin, but sorry, Mr. Penguin. <laughs> That's number 10, and in a moment, we'll have number 11. I forget if the Yeti counts as one of the enemies that you can defeat. Maybe. Let's find out. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Hmm. So what can we do to be up to it? Well, maybe we will, but there's also a secret passage back here, but we can't go up it yet. I think it's how you get back from going there. So first, I think we need to defeat the yeti. So let's go give it a shot. Hello, Mr. Yeti. Ready to do battle? You know, all that yelling, you're going to hurt yourself. See what I mean? <laughs> I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Probably. <laughs> Good joke. I was just holding <sighs> our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. It's a good thing he didn't eat you then in the beginning cutscene, isn't it? Because that wouldn't have uh, 
wouldn't have worked out too well. But you know what did work out for us? We got the Talisman of Colossus. Awesome. Three down, 11 to go. And that may seem like not that much, but uh, trust me, the game is longer than you think, even with just those, uh, those 14. There's more to it than just that. So, yes, poor Yeti, unfortunately. Remember the old chanting thing, and then the one thing you remember is there's a skill point for doing something in the hockey part. I for yeah, you're right. I forget what the skill point is, but I guess we could probably find out if I check the guidebook. Uh, skill points. Colossus. Perfect in hockey. So if we don't let them score at all, we can probably uh, get that. I would imagine that's what they mean by perfect. And that's one thing I guess Ripto's Rage kind of, uh, excuse me, does. It's, uh, it's a little different. It never does the same thing in each of its levels. Like, there's usually um, something new happening in all of its levels. Like here, there's ice skating, and then there's uh, there's hockey. So the challenges and everything that they do here are usually all different. So it's nice. It adds to variety a little bit, you know what I mean? So it's good. It makes it seem like the game sort of uh, is just almost like a superior version of the first one. Like, they took what they did in the first one, and they were like, okay, so how can we improve on this and make it better and more interesting? And it's like, okay, well, you could do it that way. Now, unfortunately, on ice, you cannot jump. But, uh, thankfully, we won't need to worry about that too much because, well, we, uh, we won't need to jump unless we hit these parts that have that. Now, this guy has two orbs, as you can see above his head. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Are you sure about that? I don't think hockey is very peaceful and calming. I mean, I guess if it's one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know. So the goalkeeper needs a little bit of practice, so let's give him some practice. Yeah, no, it's way too cold. Okay, cool. Let's give it a shot. Those were two unintentional puns, I swear. Alright, where's the puck? I'll take that once I get to it. Come back here. There we go. Now, there was a trick to this in the original where you kind of go like this and then spit like on an angle, but I'm not sure if you can do that in this one. We'll see. Okay, so it's sort of still in the game. Like, you can, you basically, you just end up spitting on an angle from him, and it, uh, it works out okay. Now, we're gonna have to watch ourselves because eventually we're also gonna need to play defense, so. Like, it, we could, we could score on our own goal in the, the second orb challenge, and that's no good, so. Nice. I guess we could just spit from half court like that, that works too. Whoa. I was expecting to grab that, but okay. Just like come in from the side and then like turn ever so slightly. Like, uh... okay, he's he's pretty good at his job. Never mind. <laughs> he's better at his job than he was in the original. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I angled it too much. All right. We'll try it again. Plenty of time. Plenty of opportunity. I didn't, I didn't angle that one enough, but thankfully I got away with it, so... Oh, give it to me. I, mu I must have not been close enough to the puck. I'm thinking I'll grab it like as, as he flicks it away like that. Can, can I can I go after the puck, please, Mr. Goalie? Thank you. See, like, that would have scored on our own goal, and, well, that wouldn't have been good. Okay, what do we got, like 15 seconds to get this one? He spit it all. He hit it all the way across the thing. <laughs> Gonna cut this one a little close, folks. Damn it! Now he picks to be a good time to be a good goalie. All right. Let's try again. Yep, I know what I need to do. But yeah, in the next one. He basically, it'll add a second uh, person to the mix. Like, there'll be a goalie on our side, uh, like, for my team, basically. And then also uh, another player, so. You gotta be a little careful of that. I'm gonna do this, because he's gonna... Where'd it go? What? Where'd it go? Yeah, oh, there it is, okay. Like, wait, where'd the puck go? 
Yeah. Okay, so you can kind of bank it off the side. Awesome. Okay, let's go like this. Right, where'd you hit the puck? There it is. Okay. Take that and do one of those. Awesome. Now we're getting it. Oh, he spit it right past me. Or, you know, hit it right past me. Excuse him, moi. I'll take that. Oop, that's not good. Come back here, puck. I angled that a little too much. Just a bit. It's okay, though. Let's come around this way. Yeah, right for that corner. There we go. I heard him hit it. Where'd it go? Ah, I see. And turn that way, bank it off. There we go. Easy as that. Have this. Thank you. I'll take that. I'm coming. So there's orb number seven. But he's got one more. Okay, sure. So now there will be a goalie in each goal and another uh, another uh, player, quote unquote. It's not an actual person. It's just a CPU, but you're playing against them, so. Spyro's Canadian. <laughs> like, get a goalie, another opponent can attack and get the puck from you. Yes, exactly. So that's what we're going to do now. I don't know if Spyro's Canadian. Maybe some of the developers were. I wonder if Tom Kenny's Canadian. Off you go. I guess we could always look it up. Okay, let's go get the puck. Where is the puck anyway? Why did it start over there? Oh, hang on, I need to I need to flame breath the guy to get the puck from him. There we go. Get back here. Thank you. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Now. Awesome. I forget if you have to get the five goals uh, on this one in order to finish it up. Maybe. I forget, honestly. But if we keep using our guaranteed to work technique, it should be fine. So. Blame that guy. Take the puck. Take it up the corner like this and then spit for the corner. Good to go. Easy as that. Put it in the bank. Stick it in the oven. It's done. Actually, no. Take it out of the oven if it's done. You don't want to stick it in the oven when it's done because then it'll be overdone. Where'd the puck go? Ah, there it is. Good teamwork. Thank you, goalie. <laughs> I'm gonna get smacked by the guy, though. He's probably, like, right there waiting. He's waiting for me. You, you see him waiting for me there. <laughs> it's too bad he can't play defense to save his life. I shouldn't smack talk. Then he's gonna, like, beat me over the head or something. Nah. Okay. Ow. You smacked me right into the puck, you idiot. What do you think you're doing? Skill point acquired. Awesome. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. <laughs> it's funny though with Ripto's Rage, it's funny how much you can see Insomniac's version of humor that they started up with in um, the Ratchet and Clank games later. Because they're the same guys that made the Ratchet and Clank games. Um, and it just I'm glad that Activision and Toys for Bob kept the dialogue one for one there because you can see the humor from that just kind of bleeding into everything else. It's pretty cool. And it feels, this game in particular feels very Ratchet and Clank 1 in terms of its humor. It's just, it's got that bite to it, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not just like little kitty humor or something like that. It's, it's got a little bit of like, hey, if you're an adult, you can still appreciate this. You know, so anyway, we've got 11 enemies defeated, so now we can use the super spring or, well, super jump, I guess it would be. I don't know, whatever that would be. It was a spring in the original, so I'm gonna say super spring, but yeah, you yeah, know. It's fine. I think we can use it to get up here, too. Let's find out. Let's find out. Yes, we can. Awesome. And I think this is where we need to go, if I recall correctly, in order to get the next orb. Yeah over there. Is there anything over there? There could be stuff on top of the thing there. I'm gonna go see. Yeah, there's a couple of orbs. Or not orbs, gems. I told you I'm gonna get these interchanged. 
That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, we can go up. We're gonna be going up here in a minute anyway for the next orb challenge, so. I don't know how I'm getting an orb and a gem mixed up. They look like two completely different things. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, let's go this way. So we can do some work for the professor. Because the professor from the opening cutscene is in Colossus here. You alright there, professor? What's with the evil spirit? Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. Oh. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Okay, well that sounds like a good idea. Flame ten green statues, got it. Can do, Professor. Can do. Surprised you believe in any of that voodoo mumbo jumbo. I wonder where the, uh, the rocket is for that thing. Hmm. Maybe we'll find it in a moment. I just gotta remember where all the statues are. And then we'll be good. I think there's one down here. Is that a gem that I just saw? No, it's a flower. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We could probably go over there, too. Let's use the super spring to get back up here and then fall down there. Ah, here's the rocket. Okay. Oops, I missed one. There we go. I was like, I know it's around here somewhere. That'll give us a few more gems. Take out this goat. And then, uh... Excuse me, there we go. Like that. Like that. Awesome. I think you can get everything in this level um, all in one go, if I recall correctly. So maybe we should have come here first. <laughs> oh well. Uh, there's a few things to get along the wall here too, if I remember right. But if we go back through the entire level, we should be able to find uh, any more of the statues that are kind of hanging out here, like these ones. Not oh, I missed that one. There we go. Let's just go back to the start and see if there was anything out here. I think there was a couple out here, if I remember right. Well, maybe not. Okay, that's fine. Anything up there? No. I don't think I can get up there anyway, so... Oh, it was a poor attempt at humor. Oh, that's okay. See, I, I just didn't get it. That's all, Kira. That's okay. It's all right, though. Glad the technique still works. They're two completely different things. Still wondering how you keep mixing up the two. I don't know, Conker. I, my brain must have, like, a disconnect somewhere. One of the troubles of getting old, I guess. But yeah, I'm glad that technique still works, too, because it was, like, the easiest way to get that done in, in, a, in a hurry. It's not that I want the game to be over in a hurry, it's just, you know, otherwise it's a bit of a pain to have to try to actually, you know, actually try to do that the correct way. Well, I guess the way that I was doing it was the correct way, but you, you know what I mean. Well, we got seven statues so far. There might actually be a couple over by the hockey ring as well. We'll see in a minute. I didn't have to go all the way over here, but... Okay. Uh, let's see. So, that's okay over there. Let's go get these gems. Oh, almost fell off. Ah, there we go. 400 out of 400 on the gems. Let's get this last orb, and then we'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Probably over here. Oh, no, I know where a couple of them are, actually. Here's this one, and I think there's one... Is there one this way? I'm gonna check. But I think there's two in, if there's not one here, there's two in that one cave that I was talking about that we could go to. So, we'll see. Uh, no, not over here. All right, that's fine. Get me off this ice. There we go. All right, let's go find these last couple statues. Oh, don't fall off now, Spyro, I don't want that. I mean, it'll be fine, because we'd be okay, but okay, here's one right here, and then we need to go here, 
and where was that cave again anyway? It's down there? No, I don't think so. Over there, that's where it is, okay. So just this way. Fancy maneuvers. And then we'll get in here and we'll be good to go. Last one. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. <laughs> I mean, I guess we do need it worse than them, but... Are you sure you should be stealing from a sacred temple? Maybe that's why the evil spirit was haunting you there, Professor. Just a thought. But that gets us orb number nine. And that's all orbs collected and 100% Colossus complete. Awesome. Let's go home. I hope for your sake there's a hole in the ceiling so you don't just like float up into it. Yeah, that's not gonna work, sir. You're gonna need to actually chant. Ow. Well, uh, I, I hope those monks have good insurance. <laughs> Cause they're gonna need it. Jeez. Okay, back to Summer Forest. Now we can go in the castle. Well, we could have before, but now, now I, I feel more confident going in the castle because we've gotten pretty much everything outside other than that climbing section in Glimmer, so. Cool. That takes care of that. Let's go down here. Whoops. I always do that. I stop charging like just a little before I uh, need to in order to hit those uh, hit those vases to hit the vase. Okay, I think that's it for the gems there, like under here. Yeah, because Sparks is pointing towards the inside now, so I would imagine. If there were any more underwater, he'd be pointing to those instead of, well, these. Those looked like tens. I was like, ooh, fancy, lots of treasure. But no, they're, they're not tens, unfortunately. They're only twos. That water particle effect. It's okay, though. We'll get to the maximum number of gems here eventually. Not yet, but eventually. We'll need, like I said, we'll need a technique in order to get there. Uh, that we do not have access to that technique just yet. We don't get it until the second hub world, so. And I'm gonna try completing as much as I can You're in the first well hub world, way, so. Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Okay. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. Yes, they will. We need all of the orbs, as I recall, in order to get back to the dragon world, so. It's uh, like the 100% ending, basically, in the game is uh, Spyro getting back to the dragon world, so. We gotta keep collecting them, keep doing them challenges. There's an extra life right there. I don't think I can dive in here, no. We have a couple of levels right here, Huracos, and what was the other one, Sunny Beach? Yeah, Sunny Beach. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Great. So yeah, here's another climbing thing that we cannot do just yet. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually control the camera. Yep. If you like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Nah, I think I'm good with passive mode. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. Now, I don't think that was an, uh, well, to, for lack of a better word, an option in the original version of the game. I think you had to do it with Hunter. Um, and that was kind of, I think that was sort of his role in uh, the hub worlds was that he could change your game camera, but now we can do it ourselves. So that's kind of nice. What we got over here, Laura? Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. Ooh, okay. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. Oh no. But if you're fast, you'll get oh, no. treasure. Have fun. It's another flight level. 
the bane of my existence. Well, that's what we're going to be spending most of the rest of this thing on then. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, money bags is down there too. Great. We'll deal with him in a moment. Get a little treasure first. Now, I don't think you can hover this. You used to you used to maybe be able to do this if you were like super slick, but I'm not super slick apparently, so. We'll try it a couple of times, but I, I'm pretty sure you can't do that anymore. Maybe, maybe not, so we'll see. But yeah, that's where the right door would have led us, is it would have led us right over here to where money bags is. So there's three levels and a speedway level, and then I think that's it for this hub world. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. He's such a jerk. All right, fine. Here's your 400 gems. Yes, the sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Of course it did. So yeah, Aquaria Towers is behind the store. So that means we can at least get most of everything in this world. I think there's like 10 gems or something like that on top of the climb tower by Alora there, uh, over by Huracos and Sunny Beach. So we'll we'll worry about that in a little bit. I'm just exploring around the hub world while I can. Over here, I think this is the boss door. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six summer forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Okay. So yeah, we'll have to fight Ripto once we go through that door. But before we do that, we need to go to Quarry Towers, Sunny Beach, and Huracos. And uh, then we'll be good. Yeah, you might be able to make that jump if you're slick. So let me see if I can do it. I'll just try it a couple of times. I really kind of want to do the speedway level next if I can, just to get it out of the way. And then maybe we'll do like one or two more levels and then we'll be done. So, but first, I'm going to try this. Uh, that needs to stay like that. And, oh, oh, don't fall off now, Spyro. So, like this, and then that. Yep, there we go. Awesome. I got an orb. So there's orb number 10. Very good. Yeah, it wasn't as hard as I was making it seem like it was. Just took a little doing, that's all. Same as the speedway level. Yes, yes, I have, Conquer. We are going there right now. So let's see what we can do here. I think if I remember right, this one's fairly linear. I could be wrong, though. We'll find out in a moment. We'll just... We'll do what we usually do, where we kind of just feel it out the first few times, and then go from there, so... Uh, I need to go this way. Gangway! Okay, you automatically have the supercharge in this uh, section now. Ouch. So that helps a little. Where are we going to end up here? Let's see. Whoa. Ah, okay. Let's end up by boats. Don't go in the water spot. Okay. <laughs> He's got that whole pulling up thing again going on, so... Oh, that's okay, Kira. No problem. Not a problem at all. I'm just glad you're here to watch the stream. So, you don't need to be active. You do what you need to do. I think I'm going to go for gates next, actually. Since there's the first one's, like, right there. I might as well, you know. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll just do this and then that. Okay. At least there wasn't water there. Or there. Uh, okay. Okay. And boats are right here. So we can do something about that. I have to get so close to the water to get these guys. Damn it, I hate that. It's so close, man. At least they give me three seconds for doing it, so. Thank you for beating them up. Oh my god. I'm so, it's so close. Every time, I have to like dip so freaking close. Like dipping my toes in the water, basically. I don't remember that being as difficult um, in the original. 
know what I could do is I could just stand on the, uh, the platform there and wait for them to come to me, but I feel like that would take too long, so... Yeah, right, that takes care of that. Let's do gates next. Keep hearing the guys making a noise whenever the, I like fly near them, and it's like, "What are you doing? I'm not even close to you." So like, stop right here and wait for them to come. Yeah, this is gonna take way too long. So we'll just do this. Eee. Yikes! I missed one. Don't go anywhere, Spyro. Almost got him. Okay, that takes care of that. Last thing is the cars. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Count with me. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight go-karts. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, and we got all in one. Nice. Um... Now, see, if I remember right, there's an orb in this level, too. So I'm going to retry and see if we can find the orb in this level. I'm going to look on the thing. Sometimes there is an orb in these things. So, yeah, there is an orb here. Okay, we just need to go find it. And I think it's here in the crowd? Somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Who's the current champion? Okay, we're going to race the current champion. Let's give All it a right, shot. Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware, if Hunter flies through a ring first, oh. the ring will start to shrink. So Hunter is the course champion. Okay. So we gotta race Hunter through the rings, and if we can beat him, we'll be the course champion. Awesome. Let's do it, Hunter! So yeah, if he flies through the ring, it will start shrinking. So sort of try to follow him up and around. He has a very specific pattern that he goes through. Um, and I don't know if there's like... I think the, the rings used to um, be a different color when it's the next one in the sequence. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. But uh, I don't think they do that now, unfortunately. I don't think you have to beat him in the race, though. I think you just have to fly through all of them. If I remember right. I could be wrong, though. Where'd he go? There he is. I don't know why this automatically makes me the champion, though. It's like, well, he can fly through the rings just as well as I can. I guess they're just, just there to make me feel good, huh? I do like that sunlight effect. That wasn't in the original, I don't think. Like, the glare that you get off the sun, but... Uh, I mean, it's a little annoying because it's, you know, in your eyeballs, but... Still, it's a cool effect. It's just, uh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Even out now. Even out. And done. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. Thank you. I'd like to believe I know what I'm doing after learning to fly in the last game. Even though I can't do it in normal levels. There's orb number 11. And that takes care of everything in this level. See, that wasn't so bad. And you can uh, you can go back in the speedway levels and like try to beat your time by uh, doing them again. But uh, let's see, can I? Yep, I can quit the course doing that. But we're good. Got everything. Got the orb. We're done. Twitch is doing you dirty again. Keeps lagging at random times. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, don't go in the water. He says as he dives in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Still want to beat him up the greedy SOB, feel the way every time you play the PS1 version of Ripto's Rage. Oh, that's fair. I mean, Moneybags, he he makes it very easy to not like the way he does things. That's for sure. So, yeah, behave for Conquer, because it's doing you dirty again, lagging at random times. That's not good. Come on, Twitch, work with them. Work with all of us. There's an orb in each speed speedway. Okay, cool. I, I I knew I was remembering that correctly, so. Okay, there might be 13 gems, actually. 
up on that little climb platform that I can't go to up here. Yeah, I see he's, he's popping up there, so that definitely means they're all up on top, which is fine. Um, how about Hercoast, then Sunny Beach, then Aquaria Towers? We'll do that. Probably won't be able to do all three of them today. Maybe. Maybe we will. I anticipate this uh, this game taking about five or six streams to do. Um, because, like, some of the challenges have been pretty... I mean, some of them have been somewhat challenging so far, but not terribly so. But some of the challenges later in the game I recall getting fairly difficult, so... Now, uh -oh. Close the gate! Close the gate! No, not on me, you idiot! Jerk. Guess we gotta do something about them. Okay. So here's the storm machine level that I was talking we've about earlier. always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. Oh, okay, cool. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Maybe if you took the lights out of your eyes, it would it would be better. Just a thought. But yeah, here's the diode he was talking about. So now you can take it over the force field and use it to turn it off. Awesome. So those guys are charge guys. Again, the small guys are the the robot guys, and the big guys are the uh, are the uh, the wrench wielding dudes. And if you flame them just right, you can hit them mere pixels before they would hit you, which is good. I don't know where they go. It looks like he just spontaneously combusted, basically, but... Eh, you know. I think there's something with these windmills that you do later, but I'm not 100% sure about that, so I'm just gonna blast them if I can. Let's see here. I don't think there's anything up there. And it, Well, if there is, I can't get it just yet, anyway. Nice rainbow. Only half seas, but that's okay. Yeah, there is something up there. Okay. Can I get up there? Maybe if I hover! Yep. Cool. And I could hover over there, too, but I don't think you can go that way just yet, if I remember right. Okay, we got two diodes, so let's put them in here. That's one. And there's another one right there. Let's just take care of that and move right along. Probably don't want to run directly into that though, right before it, uh, I, al I almost ran into it before it uh, went off, which would not have been good. Would have hurt a little bit, just, just a thought. Okay, so we need to defeat 18 enemies in order to unlock the, um, the power up in this level. So that's what we'll do. probably use the power-up to get into here as well, so. Okay, so I think progress in the level is that way, actually. Let's see what's over here. I think there's a couple of things over here that we can look into. Ah, yeah, there's an orb over here. Nice. Uh, I have a stone. I don't know what to do with it. Ah, that's right. That's what you do with it. Almost forgot. I think we can now patrol this area and there will be enemies that we can beat up in order to... Because they'll like try to take these and then you can, you can beat them up. 
up for it. It's probably these guys over here, honestly. Let's see what this guy has to say. Ah, these gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. Okay, replace the lightning stones and catch the thieves. Says it's difficult, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Where are you going, son? Get the hell out of here. I'm gonna have to like patrol both of them basically though, aren't I? Let's see here. I think that's all of them on this side. There's an extra one here. Wonder what the extra's for. Oh, it's for this one here. Okay. Yo, get the hell back here. It's not very nice. I don't think the point of it, though, is to keep all the stones in place. It's just, you know, keep them in place so that the, uh, the thieves come out. And you, you just want to catch all of them if you can. Ah, uh, there's one right there. Give that back. Okay. So replace that one. Replace this one. And then we'll go back. And check the other side again. That's mostly why it's difficult, is just because the thieves end up on either side of this, and you gotta kinda meander your way around and make sure you get them. They're pretty quick, too, so. Give me that. Let's just replace it again. It's a little bit of busy work, but that's okay. Just remember that you can fall off, so don't do not do that if you can afford not to. I should have just gone the other way around. What am I doing? Get out of here. Did he have one in his hand? I don't think so. He had a couple over here that he just tossed aside like a rag doll. Whoops. Let me do that. Oh, he got all of them over here. Great. Okay. Spyro. Spyro, pick up the orb. Aim for the thing. There we go. there. This one goes here. And the, meanwhile, on the other side, the guy's probably already taken, like, all the orbs. But, you know, it's okay. Get back here! I'll take that. Thank you. That's number seven. I already see him taking them over there. We'll get him in a second. And this one... I think this is the last one over here. Yep, there we go. All right, come here, you. Let's see if we can catch him at the pass here. Okay, get that back in place. This back in place. This back in place. Where did this one go? Right here. All right, back we go. care of that. Did he get any over here? He did. He got this one. Let's see here. That one. And that one. Let's grab this. Whoops. Let's get this out of my way. There we go. Whoops. Alright, well anyway. this in case there's any more thieves. I don't know if there is, though. Nope. Cool. Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. Awesome. I think I know what it is. Yep, just as I thought. So that is orb number 12. Awesome. One down, two to go. I think I remember this level being pretty long, though, so it's not a bad thing. Just, we're going to be here for a little bit, that's all. Just keep that in mind. I'll go do the robot somewhere else. Wait till he comes to me before I try to run into him. There we go. and we're at what now? 14. Okay. Beat a few more enemies up and we'll be good. This 
there's that. Beat up this guy. And hey, look at all these guys. But yeah, I definitely don't want to flame those robot guys. That's not going to do you a whole lot of good. All it's going to do is make them angry. Okay, there's one diode. I don't know if we need two here. Guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? That guy almost got me. Gotta be careful. I guess we didn't need more than the one. And now that we've dealt with the gear grinders, we should get a talisman here. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. We've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please take it as a reward. Okay, cool. And that'll get us the talisman of Huracos. Very nice. That's that. We are at 287 out of 400 treasure. But as you can see, there's still two orbs to grab. So let's see if we can't do something about that. Uh, Sparks is back this way for... Oh, I must have missed that one. It's a good look, Sparks. It's a good look. Thanks, buddy. Okay, but now that we've defeated 18 enemies, we can have access to the supercharged power-up over here. So good. Let's make use of it. Okay. So now those switches there will slow down the fans up on the top. We need to do that in order to do some platforming in a moment, so. I just need to remember how to get up there, and then we'll be good to go. Hmm. I think it's over this way. I honestly forget, but we'll find out in a minute. I think we gotta go this way and around, if I remember right. I don't know how far behind you are, but the icon for those big thief guys looks like Thanos. <laughs> it kind of does, yeah. <laughs> kind of did have the Thanos look to it, didn't it? Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know if I can make this. Maybe. Maybe not. Eh. I guess I could just jump up it. That works, too. I know we got to get over there from somewhere. I just don't remember from where you start. Like, you gotta go that way in order to get another orb, but where do you, where does the puzzle start? I think I gotta go over here with the supercharge, though, if I remember right. Like, there's some more windmills in here that we gotta get. There, there's one of them right there. That one's one of the hard ones. But the first thing we need to do is we also need to go back and get that other windmill, because it has a button behind it. And I have to press the button. There we go. Okay, so that'll slow that windmill down. And it appears as though our platforming begins right up here with this gentleman. Hello. Spiral, do you see that big building over there? Yeah. The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Oh, that's Please not good. help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Okay. Glide over to the factory. Okay, let's see if we can do it. So now that the fans are slowed down, you can do some platforming over here. If you try to do this without the fans being slowed down, I don't even know if you can land on them, to be honest with you. Um, I, I think you can, but they might just whip you right off, honestly. So, I don't recall. I think you can get back here. Like, when you get to the factory, you can jump up there and end up back here, if I recall. We'll find that out in a moment. First, we gotta go this way. Oops. There we go. What you got for me there, friend? Spyro, you have done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. Okay, cool. So that gets us another orb. For doing that Looks little platforming like challenge. Orb number 13. You have to use your hover maneuver to make them. 
Press the action button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Okay. Remember to press the action button when you're very close to the windmill, or you won't make it. Got it. Highest difficulty. Great. So we gotta glide across these fan blades to get to the factory. We'll see about that highest difficulty thing. Just gotta time it just before when they would be right in front of you. Because if you time it when they're directly in front of you, you're not gonna make it. They'll uh, swoop right past you just as you're gliding towards them, so. And we'll see if I can actually, uh, I, I can talk the talk. Let's see if I can walk the walk here. There we go. We'll take our time. We could jump to another fan blade in order to make this go a little faster, but yeah, I'm okay with taking a quick break. If I didn't have both my hands on the controller, I'd definitely take a quick drink of water while I'm here, but that's all right. We're already practically there. Awesome. So now over here, Zoe, if you could save me while I'm up here, yep, thank you. I don't know if all the fairies are named Zoe, I just sort of assume that they all are. Okay, now here's where the tricky part comes in. Okay, so that was what that windmills was for, was the skill point. You gotta beat up all the windmills, so. Oh god. Well, that's not good. Now, she saved me, but is that going to save me up on top, or is that going to save me on the bottom? That's the real question. We have a checkpoint we can use, but okay, it just saved me on the bottom. That's no good. But there is a checkpoint that we can use back here, so. Think you're kind of late. Just a little rockin' fun, just a little bit, but that's okay. How you doing? Welcome. We are on Ripto's Rage now, and we're in the middle of, uh... Next glides get tricky. Yes, I know they are. I know. You, you already told me. Thank you. <laughs> we are on uh, Huracos, one of the levels in Summer Forest, so... I'm kind of speedrunning through Monster Hunter World these days so you can get geared enough for doing Behemoth with you. I'd like to say the redo in the story mode wasn't really what we can call an enjoyable experiment. <laughs> that bad, huh? Rockin' fun? Oh, boy. Well, hopefully, uh, I mean, I, I don't think you need to speed run through it. Um, I mean, that's for me, though. Like, if you're, if you're going to do it with other people, like, I know Million and Conker and Yugman were all saying that they might want to play it as well. Um, is, did Yugman say? I forget. I know it was Conker, Million, and somebody else. But, um, yeah, I, I know that you guys want to do it, so that would be a good reason to speed run it. But if you're speed running it for when I'm playing it, don't worry about it, because I don't know when we're going to get the Monster Hunter World. Alex still hasn't come back to the stream to tell me that he wants the uh, wants it put back on the list yet, so we'll see. If he comes back soon, then maybe we'll know, but uh, until that point, it's kind of stuck in limbo. So. But that's alright. Okay. Let's hover this time. There we go. And we're good. The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. You don't have ears. Why? Oh, you do have ears. Never mind. I was like, wait, why is that bothering you? You have no, you have no ears, my friend. Let's take care of the noise, then. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Okay, cool. And it's another orb. Awesome. So that's orb number 14. And I think that's everything. Yep, all orbs collected. Just like I said, here's the shortcut. And level complete. So Huracos is complete. Great. Let's move on to something else. Uh, I guess Sunny Beach is next. So we'll uh, probably go there. I already did this platforming section. Let's go back down here, because here's where the level's exit is. There we go. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe it was Kira. I'm not really sure, honestly. Ooh, that's not gonna end well for that guy. Wah, wah. I think they changed that. Cause I remember in the original, they um, like, like they they got him and they didn't they didn't like high five each other you know what I mean like they they got him 
And then the one guy was like this vindictive asshole, and he just like smacked his friend in the ba- upside the back of his head or something. And it's like, why did you do that? But, hmm, huh. maybe they switched that. I don't know. Anyway, we're done with we're done with Huracost. It's all it's all complete. And as you can see, it's just Summer Forest and Glimmer really now that we've got to worry about. But the rest were uh, were pretty good. Playing Breath of the Wild today, finished unlock all the characters in Smash Ultimate, not counting DLC ones the other day. Oh, nice, Conquer. Good. Very good. Cole did that a long time ago, but that's because him and his friends were all going to be playing at the same time, so. Wouldn't mind playing Monster Hunter, but you're like an hour into the game. <laughs> well, Kira, you and I can uh, go through that together once I get there, and we'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll be blind as a bat together on that one. Because that's about as far in as I got if you count the uh, demo that I did. And that's it. Last say day, I just want to get back to your initial level, so you just want to get the story done fast. You don't have to bear those non-skippable cuts. Oh, non-skippable cutscenes. Okay, now I see what you're saying. Then, yeah, that would get. If you've already seen them, I could see how that could get a little bit uh, annoying. So, okay, Sunny Beach next. We do get to go to the beach at least, even though it isn't Dragon Shores. But you know, character is very pretty though. Well, good, good. Spend some time in the character creator then, huh? I uh, don't remember what mine looked like in the game there. I'll probably have to make it look like my Final Fantasy XIV avatar. Try to figure out some in-world excuse for how he got there, you know? Ooh! That looks like it hurt a little bit. Wah, wah. But those guys are the enemies, so it doesn't matter if it hurt them. Well, I guess it sort of does, but... Not nearly as much as if it was hurting the actual people Hi, of the world. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Okay, sure. So we gotta take these baby turtles over to the end of the thing, and we're not gonna torch them, so don't, don't do that. But we can get this big tortoise guy to move a little faster by charging or torching him, so. Now obviously, since this is a beach level, we're gonna need to swim underwater, so. So we're gonna go do. We'll let the younglings get ahead of us there. Hopefully they won't get in any trouble. Not being a very responsible parent by letting them go off ahead on their own without any supervision, but you know. Now I think, if I recall correctly, because we can't spit fire underwater here, but this is not breakable. So I think, if I remember correctly, there's a power up that you can get later on in the level that will let us fix that. So. I think that starfish is for sparks, if I remember right. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. So. Okay. We won't worry about that for right now. Because I don't need the health. Uh, is there anything down here? I didn't really look. No. Okay. Hi there. Bye there. Thank you. Big open area, huh? Okay. Let's take care of that. And nice, thank you. I'll take that. And that. Cool. So yeah, we can go that way. I think that's the correct direction to go in. But first, I gotta take care of uh, a few uninvited guests over here. Thing we'll need a power up for, and same for that, really. Let's see. Anything behind this treasure box? No. Okay, Mr. Tortoise, let's keep these little fellers moving. There we go. Oh, there's another climb section behind me. So it looks like we'll be coming back here for something. I could maybe... No, this wouldn't give me enough height, I don't think. Nah. Keep going. What do you think I pay you for there, friendo? Oh, wait. I don't pay you. Someone else pays you. Ow. Well, here's the power-up gate. We need 11 enemies defeated. Oh, uh, access it, and we have defeated 8. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I was gonna say, maybe I can glide over there from here, but no, I don't think so. Okay, but we've defeated all the enemies, so now the gate that's over there that has the power-up is open. So let's see, we got, ooh, Super Flame, nice. The water workers have captured most of our baby turtles, and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, Maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Ah, oh, okay, so the baby turtles are inside. So we just need to use a super flame to open up all the boxes. Got it. That I can do, my friend. That I can do. Okay, let's grab our super flame. Bust those boxes open. Now, you don't have to do them all in one go, thankfully. Um, but we will need to kind of rough it just a little bit here. I'll take that. Yeah. Just barely missed that one. That's okay. Let's grab up all the gems that fell out of that thing, since I was able to get it. So we kind of got to run a little bit in order to... Oops, excuse me. In order to gain access to all of the treasure boxes, because there's one, like, right back at the beginning of the level there, so... Let's just go do this. See if we can get back there quickly enough. Oh, there's the where's the thing? Ah, God. Okay, how about we go Spyro? Jesus. Okay. Okay, that takes care of that one. Now we just need to. Uh, well, there's another one over here. Need to find the other ones. There's another one up there, so that's what? Four, five? That's five of them. There's probably some later in the level as well. That's that one, and that one. I'm just gonna see if I can find the other ones before I go anywhere else. Like, maybe in this cave over here? I would need a turtle to get to this one. Oh, I see, okay. So what we gotta do then, we just gotta go over here with our flame power up. Stand right here and do one of those. Now, granted, they're not technically free because, well, they get locked in a room, but I guess it's better than having them get, uh, you know, uh, get trapped by an enemy. Alright, let's see if there's anything in here as well, because there might be something down here. seeing the other treasure box. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Like, wait, where'd it go? But it is over here, so we just gotta make our way in here with our, our fancy super flame. And then we'll be good. This is down here. Okay, nothing down here, so that's good. All right, so super flame, and then just gotta make our way up. Okay. Down we go. Okay, Spyro, slow down, there we go. And that's that. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. <laughs> well, okay then. I'll take this, whatever this thingamajig is. It's another orb. Awesome. So that's orb number 15. Very good. 
Uh, let's see, how are we doing on treasure? There's going to be a few that we miss, but uh, we're doing pretty good on treasure, I think. So now let's just go beat the level so we can gain access to the talisman. And after that, there's a couple of orbs that we can get from somewhere else, if I remember right. I'm just going to grab this just in case I need it. I always miss the tunnels there when I'm using the Super Flame. Anything else down here that I might need it for? I don't think so. I think I've mostly gotten everything here. Can can the camera go under the water there, please? Thank you. Let's see, so there's a starfish there. I think we're good otherwise. Alright, let's get this guy up here so we can lead the baby turtles to safety. Don't need you going for a swim there, Mr. Tortoise. I don't know that you'd make it out of that swim. Go on. Get up there, open that door for us. Nope. Do you think this is a coffee break? Come on now. Move your butt. There we go. Okay. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Good. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Okay. And that gets us the Talisman of Sunny Beach. Awesome. I'll take a few of those, thank you. Uh, okay, it's just this flag. I was like, wait, is there gems there? No, no, there is not. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Uh oh. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him. I'd love to, but I don't know how to climb just yet, unfortunately. I will once I know how to, though. I'll be back. But as you can see, it's becoming a recurring trend here. The climb is uh, a rather useful uh, little thing that we could get there. I'm just trying to think if there's any other gems we can get here. I don't think so. At least not right now. And we do have to come back here anyway later, so... Eh. If I can't get them right now, it's fine. Where'd the other turtle go? I thought there was three of them. Oh, boy. I'm an irresponsible parent to my turtle babies! Oh, God. Alright, let's get out of here. Your bud batteries are out. About dying, can't even PC at the moment. Okay, Conker, take it easy. We'll see you next time. Oh, my God. Well, at least they're finding a good use for that stuff. I missed a lot of chat. Let me take a look. While we're floating back in, which more games allow you to play slash create a non-binary character without speaking of the word dress in public for the first time since you were four yesterday? Really? Nice. Well, see, that's there you go. There's some confidence. That's good. That's good, Kira. Get, build that confidence up. You keep doing that stuff. Like I said, it's a good way. It's a good way to be. Good way of doing that stuff, you know? It would be nice if they gave you that option, though, you know what I mean? It's becoming a very standard part of the world, so it, it would be nice to have that option in more games, you know, rather than just being one or the other. Or something like that, too, about the ending cutscene, though you think a number of them are kind of assholes in those cutscenes. Yeah, I think so, yeah. The, they, they had that sort of snobbish-sounding voice to them, you know what I mean, so... Or t-shirt over it, but nonetheless, that's okay, that's okay. It's still a step in, the, in you know, the confident direction there, so... Old character had a gender change, but that's because you're dumb dumb and you pressed the wrong button. How did it go? <laughs> nice that Sparrow kept the tattoos in the first game and gets a power up. Yes, it is. Yeah, I, I can appreciate that they gave him that to give you an idea. Hey, he ha still has the super flame, so. If your fire breath made iron box explode and there's no way the babies inside are alive after that. <laughs> yeah, they, we were going to have turtle soup at the rate we were going there. Underwater controls or something. Yeah, the underwater controls are a little bit wonky, but... It's also pretty much exactly the same as they were in the original. It was just that weird to control in the original, so I... I, I don't know if I appreciate that. I kind of feel like they could have fixed that, I guess. But, eh. It's alright. It's not terrible. Be the offline challenge in Street Fighter V and God, the IAA is drunk. Like, character used level 3 command grab when he was at the other end of the world. Oh my god. That's nuts. It'd be nice to know more games starting to do, especially in the indie space, but can't wait till there's a time when there's little to no pushback against it. We're all waiting for that point, Kira, that's for sure. It's just, I, I don't understand why there would be pushback, you know what I mean? It's just like, come on. 
it's just the way that the world is nowadays, you know what I mean? You, you gotta adapt and evolve with the way that the world is moving. And if you don't, you just look like a, well, for lack of a better word, you look like a dinosaur. But, um, not a, not a good dinosaur, like a, a bad dinosaur. I don't know if there are any bad dinosaurs, but, you know. There's dinosaurs with a public stigma on them, but not, not necessarily bad ones. So, it, you know, it's just, don't, don't, don't fight it, you know what I mean? That's the point. It's like this guy. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Stop it. Stop it! What a bunch of jerks. Dinosaurs are great, bigots are not dinosaurs. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I couldn't think of a better word, honestly. But yeah, you're right, it's not, uh, ouch. It's not, the, the word I guess we want there is not dinosaurs, so. That guy zapped me twice. That's no good. Funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Okay. I'll activate the switches to give you your water back. There you go. Yeah, it was mean. Not, not very good. Not very good at all. I, I don't like. I disapprove. Well, anyway. So yeah, what happens here in Aquaria Towers basically is you fight the guys till you get access to the switches and the switches will raise your water levels and then you can use the water levels to get to higher places in the uh, level. The talisman is up there, but we can't get to it just yet because it's too high for the current water level. So let's go raise the water some more and uh, then we'll be good. This is probably going to be the last level today, by the way, and then we'll call it a day. So Yeah, these, these uh, swimming controls are a little bit noxious but again it's exactly the way that they were in the original I'm not I'm not using that as an excuse for the game because the original they were pretty bad anyway but they were trying to be as faithful as they could I guess is what I'm trying to say sorry there mr. sheep I needed another butterfly Whoa. The guy walked up behind me surprise motherfucker I didn't even know he was there. It's a little gruesome, these, uh, the, the death animations for these crabs, though, in some cases. Like, I remember in the original, you'd, like, flame them, and they would, like, they, they just, like, break into pieces. Like, they, they, uh, I don't know how similar it is in this game. I have to pay attention. I guess sort of similar, but, like, They'd break into pieces, and the pieces of their shells and carapace would, like, stay around for a while before it disappeared. So, here they sort of, like, disappear quicker, but it's like, wow, there's, like, body parts flying everywhere. Holy... <laughs> Spyro, slow down. You're not a ruthless killer. You know? But... Okay, I think... I've gotten everything on the ground level here, so let's hit the switch. That's so I was like, what is that? Is that a gem? But no. Yeah, I was saying bitch about that if it's included even a little bit for reasons like, no politics in my video game, or that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. I know, rocket fun, and that just, uh, what a, just, just, like, what a dumb thing to say about that sort of stuff, you know? It's like, come on, man. It's not politics, it's the way the world is nowadays. All those are sharks. Those are a lot of sharks. Let's not deal with the sharks right now. And they're metal sharks, too. Like, holy hell. Although, I will say this. As long as they're not also players, or prayers, as it were, uh, I think we'll be okay. Oh, okay. I was probably supposed to come up through here, because if you go down here, yeah, here's the entrance uh, to this area where the, uh, so the button's right over there. There's Zoe, and then here's this. So... Probably supposed to come up this way. But oh well. More over here, I'll take that. And that. Okay, let's see what's down here. Say, hopefully no sharks. Right, 
much I can do about the sharks for right now, unfortunately. Uh. Oh. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, there's a crab on the ceiling. Almost forgot about him. Oh, I see money bags again. Oh, what does he want this time? Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same. You won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. Yeah, modest, of course. 100 gems? Well, 100 gems ain't bad, so... Doing still, we're still better. paying him for this, this stuff, you know? This 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. Yeah, alright. Let's see about that. Well... Sharks aren't even bothering him. That, that being said, there's a ton of treasure down there that we can't gain access to, but, you know. We'll gain access to it a little later. We just need to activate the power up here so we can deal with the metal sharks. So, not till then, though. Uh, oh. Okay. I was gonna say, Spyro, where are you going? I don't want to go down there right now. I want to go up there so I can collect the treasure that you just jumped past, you idiot. Yeah, well, we'll get it in a minute. The water level is going to be uh, maximum pretty soon, anyway. Well, like maybe even once we do this. So. When you're grown up, you want to be a dinosaur because they're dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez, rocking fun. Every time a similar case happens, people bitch about it every freaking time. Yeah, I know. You saw saying their games aren't political, is utterly stupid. Art's inspired by politics. It happens exactly. Exactly. So you can't say that, because it's like everything has some political spin to it, you know what I mean? Oh, it has happened, and if we're to argue the video games are art, we have to acknowledge that, but the problem is that most vocal people are usually the dissenters. Yeah, that's that's that vocal minority thing, you know what I mean? It's where the people who are, who are the ones with the loudest voices are usually also the ones with, uh, I don't want to go down there yet. Those sharks might run up on me and one-hit me, which would not be good. Um, but yeah, the ones that usually speak up about that sort of stuff are the ones that, uh, have a problem with it. And I mean, fair enough. In some cases, not in this particular case because of the fact that this, this is the way that the world is going, like I said. But in some cases, it's okay to be the vocal minority because you're speaking up on issues that matter, like, you know, uh, the Amazon rainforest burning, for example. But, um, cause it doesn't seem like there's enough media coverage for that. But... Uh, in this particular case, being the vocal minority is a bad thing, because it, it, people actually might listen to you about it, and it's like, okay, but that's exactly the opposite of what we want here, you know? Anyway. Here's the talisman of Aquaria Towers. What, no fancy, uh, spin-around animation there, Spyro? Oh, excuse me. I wonder what the numbers are on the towers for. I will figure that out in a little while. First, let's see what we can do with a super flame power up. I don't know if this is the fastest way to get back to the metal sharks, but we're gonna find out. Okay, that takes care of that. I'm just gonna get rid of the sharks first. Or they can get rid of me. I guess I missed my shot there. Oh well. Common misconception that all dinosaurs are dead, there are plenty that are alive. Yes, and the descendants of them as well are also still alive. I think the sharks stay dead? I'm not 100% sure, though. We're going to find out in a minute, aren't we? Because I'm going back that way. So. Let's have a look. Uh, no. No, they do not stay dead. I also need to shoot that. Grab that. There we go. Awesome. And more sharks. Let's see, let me let me get my aim right here real quick. There. Now we're good. The super flame seems to be lasting a while though. Probably even be able to go get the sharks that are uh, over in that other area as well. Oops. I missed one. Thankfully, now we can breathe underwater while swimming. Because if we couldn't, uh, well, the whole level's underwater, so we'd be in 
we'd be in deep trouble. You know, because it's deep water. I'll see myself out. Um, I need to go this way. This way, now this way. Over here. Yep, there we go. Oops. that. Is that all of them? I think it is. Yeah. Sweet. I'll take all of those. And I think we're good on the metal sharks now. I think if I remember, I used to be terrified of those as a kid. Because I remember not, like, this was one of the last levels that I 100%ed, if I remember correctly. Um, and it was because of those sharks. Honestly, they spooked the shit out of me. Okay, I can't break those doors even with the super flame, though, so it's not completely destructible. But now that there's, uh, the water level is maximum, we can go through this hole in the ceiling. And it'll take us all the way up here to, well, it looks kind of looks like Atlantica a little bit. But uh, that's, uh, we're not in the right game for that, unfortunately. So, I don't know if I need the super flame up here. If I do, I can always go back and get it again, but there's a couple of orbs over there. Uh, two out of the three. So, I know where the third one is, though. The third one is uh, in those towers that are down there that have the numbers on them, so. I think I remember why this was one of the last ones that I 100%ed as well. It's because the orbs are all, or not the orbs, the gems are all, like, off in different directions here. Uh, let's see if we can collect them all before I... Excuse me, before I uh, go after any orbs. So. That's a sheep, we don't need to worry about that. Um, no, there's even some up there. Okay, we'll, we'll get those in a sec. Let's go exploring around while we're here. I missed one up there too. Thank you, Zoe. Okay, where else do we miss some? I think there was a couple up here. Yeah. There we go. And our gem count is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're almost there. Oops. <laughs> See what I mean about uh, stopping my charge just a little too early? That was 35 right there. Okay, we need 25 more gems, and I'm willing to bet most of them are probably in those towers. So let's go see about that one orb that's over here first. Where is that guy anyway? Ah, here he is. Hello, sir. King Flippy. Six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. How does that even work underwater? All right. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Okay, I will see what I can do. So we got to reach the tops of the towers, and each one will open in order. So just find the ones with the numbers on them. Number two is over there, and then we'll have to go three, four, five, six uh, a little later. So, but it ain't gonna be that easy because there's electric gates keeping us from getting to the top that we'll have to deal with. So that takes care of that one. Now for number two. Oh, okay. The electric gate is gone. Good. I didn't feel like going all the way back through there anyway. Uh, number two was over here. He says unsure of himself. Yep, here we go. Is it just that one? Yep. Oh, okay. Not just that one. Alright, I take care of that. Number three is back down the hole, so let's go back down there. First, let me read Rock and Fun's message. Art is always political because of the way the world is. Deciding to create non-political work is a bold politic, a political move in a way. The world works that way, and video games are the fruit of the inspiration and expression of the creativity. People demonstrate that. You can't create something that isn't linked to your way of thinking and inspirations. People just bitching about stuff because they can't see video games other than a brain-dead activity that expresses their way of seeing the world. 
Need to evaluate your grown-up professional activity. Dinosaurs betrayed you. <laughs> no, that's okay. It was a long mess of track and fun. I, I, I agree with a lot of what you said, though, there. It's, um... Like I said before, you... And it's, it's pretty well... You put it pretty well, uh, as well, there, in that you can't really... You, you can't create a non-political work of art in that case because it, it, it you know, it, it includes your worldviews and your worldviews often involve your political um, way of thinking. So it's, it's, you know, I agree with what you said there. What is, oh, yeah, that's what I just said, okay. I was like, wait a minute, what that, oh, it's just a crab. Okay, I got the crab. I took care of the crab. I love how you can have these fancy political discussions and everything and sound all fancy and everything and then all of a sudden I I go back to the next part and it's like, nope, back to back to taking care of crabs. Okay, there's three of them, so if I go like that, there we go. It's like completely juxtaposed together, it's like I don't know. It seems like it's a little strange. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So we gotta go back up here. I think five and six are here. I know six is here. There is five. I think actually five might be the other way. It's like down and around. This way. Could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Let's see here. Looking for a big number five. Is it this one maybe? Uh, yep, it's this one. Oh yeah, crabs and electric gates, great. What's up, Cole? Cole is back. 30 minutes? Are you done? 30 minutes? No, I'll be done in about as soon as this level's over. Right. So like 10 minutes. When you're all done, play PS4. Okay. You gonna play MHW? Yes. Okay. We'll do machinist things later. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought that was a gem again. I keep mistaking Zoe for a gem because she turns into that little light thing when, uh, when she's just hanging out there. Okay, last one. And, uh, nope, that's Zoe again. <laughs> I was say, oh, here's a gem, but nope. Not even close. Okay. Let's see what we got here. This one moves? Oh, man. Okay, well, that's fine. We made it. We're good. Just gonna need to heal myself, and that's you it. You did it! Now we can swim in peace! I heard that you're collecting orbs. I am. Please, take this one. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, King Flippy. So that's orb number one. Well, orb number one in this level. Orb number 16 total. We are one-fourth of the way there, if I recall correctly. I think there's 64 orbs in total. I could be wrong. Uh, now we need to look for the other one, which is over here. I remember this being very challenging, though, so we'll see. It's another hunter race course. I tried course. to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. How can you talk underwater, there, hunter? Well, whatever. Let's let's try riding his manta ray. Back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new. So try not to get him dented or scratched up. Oh, who do you think you are, Q from the 007 movies? Even if you could create a non political way, which is absolutely impossible, you would achieve creation that can only be seen objectively. Interesting at first sight, but there's nothing more boring in art than objective stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Because that's the, that's the point of art, right? Is that everybody has a subjective view on it. So it's like, uh... How are you about to... Create a completely objective art thing. Like, it, I guess you wouldn't get anyone angry, but like, come on now. Well, okay, that's well, the first done. course done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Oh, okay. Did you find another one in the other flipper? By any chance? Now that the manta race tamed, orb I'd number seventeen. Care to take him through a harder course? Sounds good. Let's give okay. it a shot. Good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it, maybe. Well, it's only three stars, but watch it be even harder, even though it's three stars. 
Okay, let's just follow the seahorse and we'll be good. Wow. Wow. I don't know, this thing handles pretty good, though. She turns around these tight corners like a dream! Almost hit that thing there, that post, but that's okay. Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. Oh, he actually did find one in the other flipper. Nice. Okay, that takes care of all the orbs. And that's orb number 18. Now we just need to use sparks to find the rest of the treasure around here, and we'll be in good shape. All right, where are you pointing me there, friendo? This way. Keep going this way, huh? Oh, straight down. Okay, so it's probably below us then. Okay. Let's go find it. Oh, wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Up here? Uh, where is that exactly? Hang on. Let's see. Over here. Okay, so it's probably over here then. Alright. Let's see. Point me now, Sparks. Over there? Okay. Oh, I'll bet you, yep, mm hmm. I, I was gonna say, I'll bet you it's up here somewhere. But, so that's ten. We got five more, Sparks. Any idea where we're going? That way, huh? Okay. So if I go up here. It's over that way somewhere. I don't need to borrow your sub anymore there, money bags. I already defeated all of the metal sharks. Oh, I just missed one over here. Okay, cool. Well, that takes care of that. And we have level completed Aquaria Towers. Awesome. Did a little more than I thought I was going to do today. That's okay. We couldn't quite finish a few of the levels, so we'll have reason to backtrack anyway. And it'll probably still take us like five streams, or maybe even six, to finish this up. Oh my god. Yeah, but what if there's a real one? Yeah, like that. Oh, dude. Yeah, maybe get out of there. Those things are one-hit kills. Oh, crazy seahorses. Well, even though we did more than I thought we were going to do today, like I said, there's a couple of levels we didn't uh, quite 100% in Summer Forest because we can't yet, but that being said... We still did at least finish up the Speedway level, which is usually the bane of my existence, so uh, that's that's pretty nice. I'll take that as a win in my book, I think. So, that's going to do it for today's episode of Ripto's Rage Reignited, the Stream Edition. Next time, um, on Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we will attempt to return to getting all of this stuff here. But before we do that, we need to get the Climb skill. And in order to get the climb skill, we have to make it to the next home world. So that means we're going to have to go fight Ripto. And uh, we'll, we'll worry about that on the next episode of Ripto's Rage Reignited, the stream edition. Now that we have all the talismans, we will be able to open that door and go do it. So thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. And I will see all of you in the next one, which, as I said, will be on Tuesday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Until then, everybody, take care and have a good night. I know it may not sound like I'm as excited as I said I was going to be about playing Ripto's Rage, but trust me, I'm incredibly excited. It's just that I'm also uh, in need of a nap at this point today. I'm getting old, what can I say?